Hello everybody, this is Mr. Omniscient One bringing you another game of StarCraft 2. This time we're watching a game between um, Naniwa, who is our Protoss. You, uh, his name his name on uh, Battle.net is SRS Razor and Ani. And he is playing against the Terran Lucifron, who is in the yellow color. And Lucifron is known as Lucifron, and uh, I believe Lucifron is a pr uh, Warcraft 3 player. And I'm not sure of the... Um, uh, origin of Naniwa. Uh, I'm not really that big on um, the um, like uh, what you call it on people's uh, pasts. But um, hold on, I'm just gonna turn down the sound a little bit because it's a little loud for me. All right, and um, I decided to bring you to this uh, bring this game to you guys because um, Lucifron I know is a pretty good player and. Um, I know you guys haven't seen a Terran game yet, so I thought it would be nice to watch. And um, um, I'm not really, again, I'm not really sure um, who um, Naniwa is, but um, I'm, <laughs> this was a pretty, this was a hot replay at um, se2rep.com. Decided, you know what? It's, it's, let's give it a shot. So uh, we have Naniwa doing a gateway on 13. Pretty standard, um, sending out a scout right after, um, which is unlike, uh, which is not like what we saw Huck do uh, last time I did one of these videos. And then we have Lucifron sending out his scout, and it looks like these two are just going to um, give, give each other a little high five as they pass. And there we go. And now, in the event that they were one of them was random, they would know, but they're not random. They both know each other's race previously, so it's all right. Lucifron's doing something also pretty standard. Uh, you see him building um, all of the his supply depot and his barracks um, in this position. This is to restrict um, this probe from uh, having a lot of um, freedom in his base in case um, Naniwa decides to harass with it. So uh, he can just uh, lift up the supply depot and then that'll constrict the amount of space that the um, probe can get into and it's makes it easy to kill it off if he wants to. Uh, we have Naniwa building a uh, Zella right off the bat. Um, normally, you see players just wait for the um, the Stalker first, but um, it's, this is not uncommon. Sometimes players do do this, so it's nothing that's game-breaking or anything like that. Again, everybody's playing pretty standard. Ooh, uh, Naniwa loses his probe, and right as soon as his cyber finishes, he builds, uh, or he starts on um, Warp Gate tech. And uh, <laughs> I use grid layout, and today I was playing some uh, one one v ones, and uh, instead of pressing Z, which would um, trigger the warp gate, I pressed A. So I researched hallucination, <laughs> and uh, I lost the game because I got uh, I got six fold, and uh, I had hallucination, and I didn't have um, warp gate tech, so I had two zealots <laughs> fighting <laughs> eighteen thousand lings, and. Um, Right now, Naniwa is just using this Zella to um, check to see what's up, uh, make sure he's not proxying um, his gateways or anything like that. He has a Stalker coming out. He's putting down his second gateway. His uh, assimilator is finishing, and he'll be transferring pros of that real soon. There goes all three. Hold on. Yeah. No. I have no idea. Alrighty, let's get back to that. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, Lucifron's putting his five marines at his ramp to prevent um, Naniwa from sending this zealot stalker up and um, uh, just harassing him with that. He's throwing down Gateway and a robo at the same time. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, the Gateway this looks to be bigger than the robo, but whatever. <laughs> The little nuances. Uh, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Lucifron researching um, Infernal Preigniter, which is going to upgrade these Hellions, make them do uh, much more damage, and it'll allow him to two shot these um, probes. That's a lot of probes. Um, pretty, pretty normal though. Nothing out of the usual. Constantly, he's not using his, um, or he's not being active about using this. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Chrono Boost. I could not think of the name. Despite the fact that I play Protoss, I 
still not always heard him, but and uh looks like Lucifron wants to send out another scout, but it's gonna get shut down by this uh stalker sentry. And uh Lucifron's massing up a pretty decent amount of Hellions and is he getting a start yeah let's see, he's starting on his command center, where's his start port? There it is. What is he gonna do is he's gonna load all four of these um Hellions that he's building into this one Matavac and uh with this infernal pre igniter look, it went from fourteen to twenty four damage. And all workers only have forty HP. So or forty five I guess on the SCV. But um that's pretty significant. Uh it's gonna again it's gonna mean that it's gonna be two shot, which means all of these are just gonna do run train on all of this and it uh, all forfeit perfectly into this medevac and um Razor or sorry, Naniwa has to be um real careful about this. Let's see what he um he doesn't see the starport yet. He sees the um, barracks, he sees the command center, he sees the other barracks, he sees the factory, he sees all these units, but he has not found the starport yet, which is going to be very detrimental, because this is about to hit him, and he's walking away, so, um, oh, uh, but he's gonna, um, ooh, Lucifer deciding, uh, I don't know what he's, it looks like he wants to drop here and um, try and do some damage on the Nexus, but there has been no um, worker transmit yet, so. Um, it will be soon, but here he is, he's loading, he's unloading, and he's running right up, he's, there's going to be a lot of probe kills, and boom, let's look at, let's just watch the uh, units lost, units lost, already, look, look, all of his probes are just dead instantly, 24, 25, it's just huge, huge losses, that's very, that's going to hurt. And so, uh, Razor, he trapped his immortal in here, so he's, um, taking down the pylon to take care of that. And he, and he doesn't have to worry, because he just lost 25 probes. So, that hurts a lot. And, um, he has a big force, though. This could, um, it might be able to overtake this, um, pretty s decent army by Lucifron, but with this amount of mortals, these immortals are going to cut through these marauders, which is, um, what's going to do the most damage besides these siege tanks and they cut down siege tanks and immortals very easily so um though he's getting a lot of um siege tanks and uh, he's thrown down another factory he's not expanding with the orbital command yet he doesn't quite feel comfortable and um we see Naniwa knocking down the rocks of Lucifron's uh, back door that's allow him to go in through the, either the front here or through the back, which is really hard to uh, be at both places at once. And, um, yep, it looks like he's probably going to take out this uh, supply depot, and then he's probably just going to pull back or not. No, it looks like he's going to go right for the jugular. He's going to try and get his money back. And um, I'm not sure if I'm behind this decision, but nice force fields. That's going to let him cut down all of these SCVs, all of those marauders, and, all, and those few marines. That's going to let him do a lot of damage. So wisely just backing up, letting the other, getting out of the uh, range of these siege tanks, so that we can just take his, um, take out the units from a distance. And he's like, he must have like, you know, you play a lot of games, and you know exactly where the siege tank is, and you know where that siege line is. And he's not even getting anywhere close to that. He's being very careful. And um, again, siege tank numbers continuing to rise. Actually, they're still at the same. He built a Hellion. Right now, he's trapped in the corner, and he's just going to take do as much damage as he can. And you see the unit's losses evening out, but he's, those these force fields are really turning the tide. He's making him lose all of his units. This is really big for um, Daniwa right now. Lucifer is continuing to lose all the Marauders. He needs to get out, and he's uh, pulling SCVs to try and um, stem the bleeding, but there's just... This Immortal is just doing way too much damage. The Immortal's gonna fall, but uh, he still did... He definitely evened out his um, his losses. This is a much closer battle now. Let's look at the um, units, and the uh, worker count is evened out a lot. Now it's 25 to 17, which is... Um, oh, and um, looks like that's the end of the game. Um, so, Razor... Um, 91, GG's out, he doesn't have an army, he does not have the economy, and, uh, I guess he just, um, didn't want to do anything else, um, so, that's that, um, Lucifron wins decidedly, um, I guess 91 just decided he could not handle another attack, and he did not do enough damage to that attack, um, so, I don't know, it was pretty close, I... I don't know, he had an expansion up, and, well, I suppose a little front. Yeah, the mules probably would have made a nice difference. 
Let's look at the uh, income. He actually had, well, I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, see ya.